In the city, at least two mass shootings on either side of Chicago this weekend. One in Lincoln Park early Saturday. Five people were injured. Another yesterday in Roseland. Two dead, three others injured. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza live for us in Lincoln Park tonight with the latest on both investigations. And Sabrina, we understand there have been no arrests, right? Joe, that is correct. And now the community is trying to take matters into their own hands, asking anyone who has any information to come forward, pleading with anyone who has any information to come forward. Just a few moments ago, we spoke with a man who was at that Father's Day celebration in Roseland before it turned into a crime scene. He said the events at that party, as well as the events across the city over the weekend, are further evidence that the community needs to come together and help one another. It's just unfortunate. Because, you know, usually we get together out there and it's pretty cool. Robert Reed is a father of six. He grew up in Roseland. On Sunday, Father's Day, he was doing what he's been doing for decades, what many dads do on their day. And just go out there and barbecue and play ball and drink beers and crack jokes, you know. In his neighborhood, the gathering they put together for years and years is even more special. You know, it was people like, it was older people around there when we were younger that did it for us. To give us a visual of what it looks like. Because, you know... It's a, it's a big stigma in African American community, in the African American community, that black dads are not around and stuff like that. So we want to show them, like, okay, we out here. The mood of the day changed in an instant at the pull of a trigger. We never anticipated what happened yesterday. Witnesses tell CBS2 that two people got out of a car and started firing into the crowd of families. Two people were killed a 37 year old man and a 33 year old man. Three other men were injured. The day before in Lincoln Park, early Saturday morning, two groups close to the Lincoln Park Zoo got into an argument. Five people were shot, four men and a teenage girl. Police haven't made any arrests, but the dads in Roseland this weekend already have plans. After talking to several of my friends this morning, we feel it's important for us to continue to go out there and continue to try to bring it back. And, then, and if they need to come out there and do what they have to do every week to do that, to, to, to run us off, they're going to have to do that. Two people remain in critical condition following both of these mass shootings over the weekend. Our police sources are telling us that police have identified some surveillance video or witness video from the shooting that happened here in Lincoln Park, and they are trying to gain access so they can locate, watch, and hopefully use that video to make an arrest. We're in Lincoln Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Joe. Sabrina, thank you.